Welcome autumn. Hold on to a little bit of summer cheer with this sunflower themed craft. Thank you for picking up our September Take and Make craft kit. We hope you have fun making this welcome sign. This is the instruction video. Let's begin. When you open your craft kit bag, you will find the following. 10 wooden paint sticks, a paintbrush, white acrylic paint, a blank chalkboard, a welcome sign, assorted sizes of sunflowers, greenery, and tacky glue. For the first step, you will paint all of the wooden sticks white, along with the small welcome sign. You should have an ample amount of paint to do both sides of the sticks. Let them dry fully before moving to the next step. 30 to 45 minutes. Once the paint has dried, take seven of the 10 wooden sticks and lay them vertically next to each other. For spacing purposes, take another paint stick and run it horizontally across the top of the seven sticks, using this as a guide to spacing the vertical sticks evenly. Take another stick, place it along the bottom edge of the vertical painted sticks. The tenth stick will be placed diagonally in the center of the vertical sticks. The gate portion should look something like this. Once you are satisfied with the layout, glue the top horizontal stick to the vertical sticks. Make certain you use a sufficient amount of glue. Weight the crossbar and let it dry, about 30 minutes. Repeat this process with the bottom horizontal stick and then again with the diagonal brace stick. Now take the sunflowers and the greenery. Clip the small protruding portions on the back of each sunflower so that they lay flat when glued. Position the greenery along the left-hand side of the gate and add several of the sunflowers according to your taste. Once you are satisfied, glue the greenery and sunflowers to the gate. Regarding the chalkboard, here are some suggestions. You can take the painted welcome sign and glue it to the chalkboard. You can use chalk to include a more personal message. You can add some of the reserved greenery and sunflowers to the chalkboard and, when satisfied with your design, glue everything to the chalkboard. Remember to give the glue ample time to dry. Then string the completed chalkboard onto one of the vertical posts. Here is an example of a finished gate. It can be propped up on a mantle, or you can knot the excess twine from the chalkboard and hang it from a command hook in a spot where you, your friends, and your family can enjoy. My finished product now adorns the front door of my home. You can also see an example on the door leading into the adult services department. Let us know if you enjoy our Take and Make series by sending us photos of your completed craft to adult services at shpl.info. Also, if you have any ideas or comments, send them along to the email address above. Thanks for your continued interest and support.